calling it the Cannabis Evolution Project. And it's a collaboration with um, one of the curators at the American Museum of Natural History named Rob DeSalle. We're doing an evolutionary map of the history of cannabis. So we're sequencing the DNA from thousands and thousands of modern strains and as many hundreds of ancient samples as we can get so that we can make a genealogical map of the evolution of the plant and so that we have genetic data indicating what all the modern strains really are so that we can identify them. So it's like an ancestry project. You know, humans look up their own ancestry. It's like that. The reason why as evolutionary biologists we want to do this um, and the reason why that Rob at the museum was interested in it is because we're fascinated by the, the evolution of domesticated species. So in the wild, species evolve in one way, and once they become domesticated, human forces make them evolve in a very different way. Evolutionary biology hasn't really finished grappling with the structure of evolutionary trees once they get subjected to humans hybridizing them. Once you have that family tree, once you have DNA sequence for everything, it means that you can bring in any sample and we can sequence it and we can position it exactly on the tree and tell you what it is. So it's kind of, a, I think it's a rare uh, intersection of scientific desires and, and popular ones because the ability to identify a plant exactly will totally change how consumers interact with cannabis. It's going to become more like wine. And if you go into a store to buy Malbec or Shiraz, you, you want to get that. You don't want to be given some completely other varietal that you don't like or aren't used to. And now, strains are just named almost completely randomly. No one ever knows what they're getting. I think it's going to be one of the clearest times that a lot of kind of heavy-duty genetic science has an immediate impact on their life. Suddenly it turns out that I think that stuff for once is going to matter to people. We're hoping that it will.